Hi all, welcome to today's market opening report from Zebu School and I am really happy to uh, see you guys after almost 4 to 5 days uh, due to personal commitment I couldn't uh, make my videos. So in the meantime my teammate and my friend Suresh was supporting me in the filling this video. So right now, so after the long break, so I am just going getting into the market. Okay, so I am still reading personally. If you remember my last update from my side, I just wrote down some levels in terms of Nifty and in terms of Bank Nifty. If you can just recall or if you can just go back to the, uh, I guess the last Monday or last Tuesday video or the last video done by me on a market opening report. So that is what <coughs> the level I am going to recall. So the levels were like somewhere around 16, 682, 750 zone, 16. 400 to 450 zone okay i was saying market needs to decisively close above this swing zone to further go up or else i expect market to trade only in this zone and if this is going to break down i expect at 1600 to i think 16150 is the next key zone so even after four or five days what has happened is market has tried to touch in this level even on friday it has opened around this level and again rejection came in so around uh, now trading around the lower end of this zone. Okay, this is what uh, my structure for the Nifty and moreover for the bank Nifty also I said. Uh, again, it is the key level. Remember that on that day I bank Nifty chart on the last week. So this is the key level I was mentioning you. And, uh, So somewhere around 34, 900 is the key level. The next level is P line. So these are all the <coughs> key important levels. I remember like uh, I kept in my mind uh, when looking at the market as a structure. Okay. And again, market is now exactly in this place. Okay. So trying to go up, couldn't do anything. So came up and uh, and uh, right now what the market is, so <coughs> Nifty it is somewhere 16, 5, 35, okay, Bank Nifty is somewhere around 35, 300 and India weeks, okay. So this is the key factor which we need to do, so this is trading around 11, 20, so in the last week we were seeing it is trading around 25, so somehow this is good for uh, traders who do not want to get into volatile stuff, so for the day, Nifty is uh, down, okay. This is down, this is down, and this is slightly up. So, from here on, what would happen? So, next is on coming Wednesday, there is an RBI policy, okay. So, for the coming Wednesday, though the expiry is on the Thursday, most probably many times I have seen uh, uh, this RBI policy is almost kept on the Thursdays, but this time they have kept it on the Wednesday. So, you just need to take care of the volatility we are going to see because uh, everything is very certain like now we, we, we hear everywhere the interest rate hike is going to be the key factor whatever you look upon even in the global market when you when it, when it comes about uh, uh, fed meeting when it comes about uh, uh, ecb meeting and even about rbi so anyhow the rate is going to be raised because of the inflation but how much is the quantum that is only going to decide whether the market is going to stay in this zone or going to come down okay this is the key level so i do not want to take any portion because for some again might be i'll be personally traveling due to my personal commitment so do not want to take huge quantities so staying very light from last thursday from my side i expect you to follow this level okay uh, ensure this level is kept in your mind and also this is the key okay because next two to three days because of this event the volatility might increase irrespective of the direction it is going to move, I expect the volatility to increase because of this. In case if you are a very short term trader who are trading in a week, so ensure that uh, you are going to tackle this. What I am personally doing is, I am not trading in the current week because I know I might be little out because of my family commitments. So what I did was, I am trading in the next week. So even though if there is any rise in volatility, my risk will be a little safer and the reaction to the volatility hike might not be required from my side. That is the key why for the last two, three days, I am not trading the current week. I am trading only next week. That means 
not on the 9th of June, heading on the 16th of June for the June for my short term view. Though my view for only 3 to, three to 4 days, but I chose 6th of June and it is only mainly because I will not be sitting in my terminal. That is the main reason. Just in case if you are also wanted to plan your trade accordingly, remember this level. Remember this level in terms of bank of level and and keep in mind RBI thing. And moreover, uh, after this RBI, I think uh, very next day, Fed is going to have some policy meet. So again, that commentary and this thing have a kind of jittery move. That is the main reason I chose next week, not the current week. So I hope uh, this is this information for at least. Next I do not want to take any view here because when uh, market was trading around this level, I am a short, clear short. But not an open chart. I generally take strategies, likely bearish. Just now, I just reached office and moreover, I am seeing market is around this place and news is expected. So, it can happen like this or can consult it, it can happen like this. So, within the news, nothing can, can predict and whatever we predict, it is not going to uh, go by our prediction. So, with that in mode, so I am trying to book my most of my positions. Still, I am bearish. Most of my position price is seen. I will be planning my trades on again 16th of June on the current week because get into trouble. Then, obviously, till Wednesday, the right and only after Wednesday, or whatever the DK you are trying to concentrate or whatever the premium you are going to eat out by maintaining some kind of strategies. Okay, I am not asking you to only sell, but whatever the strategy it is, so slightly you might be aware of this fact. There is a possibility that your X maybe A increase that means the fluctuations from the market it is not only the direction we can oscillate very, very, very in a fearless mode. So, that is what from my side I wanted to update, and maybe we will just review at the end of the day because market is around somewhere at the support. But to be frank, if this is not there, I will expect market to go down, go, go up here, and maybe initiating my start somewhere in this. Okay, that is my plan will be, but because of this and due to some kind of uh, uh, unavailability of myself in the trading terminal, I will not prefer to anything today, but if at all, if it is going to happen, so I expect something like this, okay, and if the market rises here, then I will be charts. I have already booked my charts, like part of my charts, that I wanted to create charts at the little higher level, keeping this in mind. So, I ensure that uh, you also please follow this kind of uh, plan and uh, risk management considering this. I hope uh, uh, these data will be helpful to you. That's it from the day from my side. At the end of the day, uh, we will just review on how next two days because I am clearly saying next two to three days this will be the key and I will not be initiating any bigger portions. Okay? Even if I initiate portions, I will be trading in the next week. This will be the tone for the complete next three days. Okay, whatever my view, tone for the trading will be with this and uh, I hope this will help you in terms of safeguarding your capital or taking your view against it, whatever the risk is going to come. So, hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching. Do connect on our post market. Thank you.